Jackson Radio Show. Welcome back, everybody. Kevin Jackson. It's the Kevin Jackson Show. I'm in a feisty mood today. I'm not going to lie. Um, I, lots going on. Jamil, Jamil Hills, I think that's her name. She's trying to go after Jerry Jones. There's so many things going on and so many things I'm going to talk to you about today. Crazy stuff. I, I'm going to Bill Maher's going to be on the show. Not to not. I mean, his clip will be on the show. I wouldn't have Bill Maher on the show. Well, I would actually. I'd love to debate Bill Maher. I would torch that fool. I would. I would love to debate him. But, you know, it'll probably never happen because he does not have the male genitalia to do that. You know what I'm saying? Anyway, look, whitewashing history and Harvey Weinstein. I got to cover this because a big time politico is in the news because of Harvey Weinstein. I'm not talking about Bill Clinton. Yeah. And and uh, Jeffrey Epstein and Rape Island or whatever they call it. Uh, what do they call that that island where they take all those young girls? Anyway, I'm not talking about Bill Clinton. Harvey Weinstein is a nuclear bomb right now in Hollywood that went off yeah, a dirty bomb. <laughs> he is. His name is now being removed from a TV series that his company produced. And it's funny to watch left as a well, let's listen. What do we do? How do we fix this? Let's take his name off of the TV show. <laughs> Let me tell you, go take Harvey Weinstein's name off of all the things that he did. It's like tearing down their monuments. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? That's the equivalent of them tearing down their own monuments. They're like, uh-uh, we ain't putting that up. That's worse than the Civil War, people. <laughs> I only wish they'd built statues of this man right now. Goodness gracious. They would have had this dude on Mount Rushmore it, knowing he's a sexual predator. Knowing this. So they're they're tearing down his monuments, taking his name off of of his shows and things like this. You're uh, uh, 1400 people. If if you believe Meryl Streep, she says in 2015, when she was accepting an award over 1400 people have praised Harvey Weinstein. Let's just call him God or whatever. Where's your God. Now I asked this the other day, where's your God now? See, that's the problem with the God of leftism. The gods of leftism will let you down. That's the deal. They they have criticized our God many, many, many times, right? They've criticized him. You know what our God does? <laughs> he chuckles because he has never let us down. Not once. Even when you believe that he has, there's a bigger picture in it for you. Look, I'm not getting all preachy. I'm just letting you know. They make their gods. Barack Obama. What was Barack Obama? What did Jamie Foxx call Barack Obama? Our Lord and Savior, Barack Obama. We have the clip. We play it periodically. What did their God do for them? He let them down. They don't want to worship something that's bigger than they. They want to worship the little man. The guy who's completely fallible, who is nothing but a freaking a fraud. And that's what Harvey Weinstein is and Meryl Streep called God. And you know why she called him God? Because in order to do anything big time in Hollywood, Weinstein's involved. How do you get away with what he did for that many years with that many people knowing? And I said at the, in the previous segment, you haven't even begun to see all the things that Harvey Weinstein did. Now that he's no longer the guy that holds the, you know, the key to the kingdom, you're going to watch stars come out. You're going to watch girls who could have made it, but got traumatized. You're going to see it all. And Hollywood's going to pretend they care. They're going to go, Oh my gosh, we're, we just did it. No. And that Harvey, and they're going to try to make movies about it. And you're going to see all kinds of PSAs. If you're ever attacked by sexual harassment, let us know. Don't stand for sexual harassment. It'll, it'll never be good enough. Blah, blah, blah. The PSAs, you're going to have Matt Damon going, you know, coming out with his kind of sultry. Hey, you know, I've got daughters and my daughter's, I don't want my daughters to ever have to go through sexual harassment. Ben Affleck will be right there with him. You know, he's sexually harassing maids and, and, you know, I don't know who, who all, whoever, all of them, they all have stories. Every one of these people start, starts out as an ordinary dude. I remember when, um, Matt Damon made uh, courage under fire and he played a heroin addict 
And, and he was lucky to get the role. And now he's big time. Let me tell you something. All these fools are doing things that they can induct. They, they can do anything they want. It's Caligula over in that, in that joint. It's Sodom and, Pomor- Sodom and Gomorrah being ruled by Caligula in Hollywood. And all these people can do whatever the heck they want because it is freak central. And nobody wants to tell because they all want that break. So they want Heinz, uh, Einstein, Weinstein, <laughs> Einstein, Weinstein's name removed from everything as if that's going to do it. Because guess what? It's the same people that allowed it to happen and they know it's happening elsewhere. So they'll put a little spotlight on it for a while and then it'll be gone. But here's what's funny. Donna Brazil deleted a tweet praising Weinstein. And I saw that and I was like, well, what, what, what was that about? And here's what it is. This is from the Daily Caller. Here's what she put. The Weinstein Company has taken the lead against sexual harassment and assault. She tweeted Sunday after the board announced they were ousting Harvey Weinstein. So after the Fox has left the hen house, she says, they've taken the lead in, in dealing with sexual harassment. Uh, Donna, just out of curiosity, keep in mind, one day of taking the lead does not erase 30 years of allowing it. That's how they think. So she deleted it. Oh my gosh. Too funny. Here's what the daily caller finished. They said the tweet was baffling to many as Weinstein was only terminated after the New York times published a report revealing that there were decades of, of previously undisclosed sexual abuse allegations against Weinstein. Weinstein also reportedly reached settlement with many of his accusers, exchanging large sums of money for non-disclosure agreements. Twitter mocked Brazil for her tweet, arguing that it is unlikely the Weinstein company was oblivious about the many accusations before the NYT report. She finally deleted her tweet on Monday after being relentlessly ridiculed. I just want you to understand, folks, Donna Brazil has been a mainstay in Democrat politics for decades. She is the modern day Barbara Jordan. OK, they revere this woman. This is the woman that gave the uh, the, the questions to the, the debate to Hillary Clinton in advance. This is a, when she was DNC chair. OK, this is is a woman who is crooked as the day is long. This is a woman who's got the intellect of a snail and they revere her. And this is what she published on the heels of Weinstein. It it doesn't even dawn on her how stupid this tweet is that she's about to put out in the Twitter sphere and everybody's going to have it, you know, forever. And she doesn't. So she thinks because she took it off, It erases her stupidity. This is what we're dealing with, people. Folks that are so obtuse, they don't know right from wrong. And that's why this Harvey thing is is so important. Look, I'm going to jump off this for a minute, but I just want to make sure you understand this is a big deal. This is the Kevin Jackson Radio Show.